slight groan, and I knew it was the groan of mortal terror. It was not a groan of pain or grief, oh no. It was the low, stifled sound that arises from the bottom of the soul when overcharged with awe. I knew the sound well. Many a night, just at midnight, when all the world slept, it has welled up from my own bosom, deepened with its dreadful echo, the terrors that distracted me. I knew what the old man felt and pitied him, although I chuckled at heart. I knew that he had been lying awake ever since the first slight noise, when he had turned into bed. His fears had been ever since growing upon him. He had been trying to fancy them causeless, but could not. He had been saying to himself, it is nothing but a wind in the chimney. It is only a mouse crossing the floor. Or it is merely a cricket which has made but a single chirp. Yes, he had been trying to comfort himself with these suppositions, but he had found all in vain. All in vain because death, as approaching him, had stalked with his black shadow before him and enveloped the victim.